the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 35, Leviticus 8 to 10, Priests, beginning the first official task. The priest who was the mediator between God and people was officially appointed. This new leadership highlighted that privilege is followed by heavy responsibility. First point. Finally, the priests were able to start their job. After months of preparation, finally the priests were able to start their new roles. As instructed in Exodus chapter 29, their anointing started according to the Q sheet for seven days. During the seven days, whilst the priestess gets his anointing, it was the job of Aaron and his sons to prepare everything in the tabernacle. And on the eighth day, Aaron was finally able to start his law as the first ever high priest. After making the offering, fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fat portions on the altar. This showed that God had approved of Aaron as the first high priest. This system of a kingdom of priests lasted for 1,500 years until Jesus came and shouted, It is finished on the cross. Second point, the nation shouted and kneeled down. Then Aaron lifted his hands toward the people and blessed them. And having sacrificed the sin offering, the burnt offering, and the fellowship offering, he stepped down. Moses and Aaron then went into the tent of meeting. When they came out, they blessed the people, and the glory of the Lord appeared to all the people. Fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fat portions on the altar. And when all the people saw it, they shouted for joy and fell face down. Aaron's first job as the high priest was successfully done, and the fire that consumed the offering at God's mark to acknowledge Aaron was an important instant. In other words, God's fire did not consume the offering every time it was made. The reason for the fire was so that the nation could see that God had anointed Aaron to this law. When the nation saw that the fire came and consumed the fat portions, they saw for themselves that God had appointed Aaron. Third point, it was important for the high priest and the offerer to work together. In a kingdom of priests, even if the person making the offering came with everything prepared, if the priest did not know exactly what he was doing, it meant that the offering could not be made properly. It was important that both the person making the offering and the priest were offering with a wholehearted attitude. In other words, it was important that the two hands clapped together. Fourth point, it was the job of the priest to distinguish between the right and wrong. It was important that the high priest distinguished between what was for God and the neighbors and what was for himself. Indeed, it was important that he distinguished between doing what was wise and otherwise. When Aaron carried out his first job as the high priest, the Lord's fire consumed the offering, but when Aaron's two sons made an offering, the Lord came and killed them both. It seems as though Aaron's two sons had drunken alcohol before making an offering. This instant really puts into perspective how the law of the priest 
came with serious responsibility as much as privilege. Fifth point, Eliezer and Itama become role models in a kingdom of priests. After the death of Aaron's two sons, Nadab and Abihu, Aaron's third and fourth sons step up as the new priests. The death of Nadab and Abihu would, of course, have been a total and utter shock for this family. But Moses told them not to cry or to mourn. Aaron's family was instructed to use this as a lesson to understand how serious their roles were. The reason why Moses told Aaron's family to do this was so that they could all acknowledge that what happened was right in the eyes of God, and that it was their responsibility to come to terms with it. Do not let your hair become unkempt, and do not tear your clothes, or you will die, and the Lord will be angry with the whole community. But your relatives, old Israelites, may mourn for those the Lord has destroyed by fire. Privilege comes with responsibility. We can see here just how hard Moses and Aaron worked to establish and maintain a kingdom of priests. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Talk app.